So it's an old pile, probably from three or four years ago. If you look at that, it looks pretty, pretty solid. But yeah, I'll be blending this in with my other stuff. All right, so that's what I'm working with. Out of that pile, I see an old tarp still down there. Still got some stuff left, but in my mind, this stuff's been aging for a few years, so I might ought to use it, you know? One of the hazards of bringing um, electronics out, this is staged, I put it back. I thought, where did I put my speaker? Yeah, that's where it was. I covered it back up just to give you the full effect. Check your trailer before you start throwing crap in it. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, there's the sand's been added. So I'll go ahead and add the topsoil now. I thought I'd take a look at the product that I bought. Wind conditioning soil for gardens, soil for new lawns. And then it gives you down here, number of bags, two inch depth, four square feet. Four inch depth, you get two square feet. All right. Anyway, and they've got a really good uh, guarantee. If for any reason you, the consumer, are not satisfied with the results after using this product, you're entitled to get your money back. I would never do that, but I thought, you know, probably be good if I read the instructions since I've never used, I know Scott's, but I've never used their premium topsoil. Anyway, I'm gonna start mixing this in. Um, we got a long bed, so I'm gonna do plenty. All right, so that's what it looks like. I found a straggler there. So I'm just gonna, I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I don't think it will be. I'm gonna probably have to put more in that bed. I think that bed's about a foot wide. Probably about six inches, no, five inches deep. Let's see what it looks like. I'll get it mixed up. So that's what it looks like right now. I am thinking chat GBT was probably right. That looks like a lot of topsoil. I think I'm gonna throw some more sand on top of it too. Get it all mixed in. All right, so I thought I'd do kind of a wide angle shot to show you what I got going on there. There's the berm and on that little tiller, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I just, my back can't take it anyway, but I figure for the machine, maybe it's best to just run it for 10 to 15 minutes and then just let it kind of cool off. If any of you know about that, just let me know, cause I don't know. So maybe there's something actually bad for letting it heat up and then cool down back to back. So anyway, um, this is what I'll be working with. Pick out any stragglers, any weeds. Might be trying to get in there. And uh, we'll get started. All right, and that's what it that's what it looks like before I get down in there on my hands and knees. I would estimate it took me about a half an hour or so. There were some big roots in there. Also, show you this. I didn't even notice this has a power button, number two or number one. I was running on number one. Once I figured out, oh wow, I got more power. I pressed number two and this thing just, wow, it took off. I'm gonna tell you though, you gotta be real careful of roots. Um, this thing will just grab you and it'll it'll jump, but I'm more worried about it, you know, screwing up the blades down there. So anyway, so not bad, half an hour, that sure beats hand trenching in my mind. And until I get my excavator here, this is what I've got. I feel like I'm pretty close to the line on this, honestly, you guys. <clears throat> You can see some areas of the trench here, they get kind of shallow. So I think what I'll do is in some of those spots where it's shallow, where there was roots in the tree, trying to find a big root where, oh yeah, you can see this one right here. This one right here. Yeah, that tiller just jumped out of my hand on that. So I think what I'll do here is I'll get my claw hammer and any spots that aren't exactly five inches, I'll just, you know, make sure that the section where I place the bulb is gonna be five inches, not worry about the overall trench. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I pulled all the grass out. There's still some grass growing in the middle that I had to pull out by hand. But uh, otherwise, I think it's a good looking little trench here. It's a little labor intensive, but I'll tell you, it's actually going a lot faster than I thought. 
and uh, you know that tiller honestly helped to get this going. Now I just have to dig around the rocks and the roots and whatnot. I was an excavator in the desert for 25 years and never really found anything that cool, but oh, what's this? <laughs> I'm down here hand digging and I see this. And I've been told this is an old farm and that I might find some stuff. So I don't know. What do we got here? Hubcap? I don't know what that is, but that might be why that tiller was jumping. It might be on a trash pile. Let's see there. Look at that. My goodness. What is that emblem? I don't know what that is. And the next thing I uncover, why in the heck is that bee down there like that? He was just down there. Wow, the things you discover. Is he hibernating? It's crazy. All right, y'all, the sun's starting to go down. Don't have much time left. I got to get these bulbs in. So I feel pretty good with the trench. Some spots I still feel like are a little too shallow, but otherwise it's a good looking trench. So now it's just time to get some bulbs in there. All right, so I got my tools I'm consulting with ChatGPT. I was asking it about clumping. I've never done bulbs before. So I was like, how many are in a clump? And it said about five to six for tulips. And then I think for allium, it was even more. But but the point is, it said separate four to six inches. Well, I've got like 150 of these things. So I think what I'm just going to do is just boom, 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 all the way down um, four to six inches apart. I think that ought to do it. So I guess I better get to digging. All right, right or wrong, <clears throat> all the tulips are in all the way up to the top of the bed. So, wait, what's this one? Uh, I'll let him forget one. Oh, these are more tulips. Oh, crud. Well, I guess we'll have to go into another bed. This bed is done, and so is the sun, so I gotta get these covered up. There you go. Here's uh, Dave's homebrew. I got all the bulbs covered now, what I need to do smooth it out, level it out, and then finish covering everything up.